Welcome back, guys. Today, I'm going to check out a sketch by Key and Peele. The name of the sketch is Why Would You Mess with the Batmans? Go ahead and check it out. Damn, she was fly. She all right. Yo, man, can I ask you a question? Two valet guys. What? Why everybody messing with the Batmans? See? That's exactly what I've been asking myself. It don't make no sense. Why would you it don't, do it? Why? It don't make no sense. It makes no sense. Why would you do that? Why would you try and mess with the Batman? It's futile. It is. Yo, remember, Keith Ledger's tried to... I mean, the Batman's got armor and be doing some martial arts, some moon tools, Tyson, Tyson, and then... King, 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 King. worry, I got armor and then martial arts. Come on. All you got is a purple suit and some pancake makeup. Come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Why would you mess with the Batman? That's what I'm saying. Why would you mess with the Batman? I said, why? Remember when Danny DeVito's tried it? Start walking around. <laughs> I like how they're just using the actors' names. So remember when Heath Ledger tried it? Remember when Danny DeVito tried it? <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, <laughs> that penguin walk. Large. You're just a little fat mother in a tuxedo with an umbrella. Exactly, Come man. On, man. It's like a pretend bird can't mess with the Batman. No way, no way. Out of the question, man. Jim Carrey, though. <laughs> Jim Carrey. Yo, let's talk about Jim Carrey real quick. So they cast Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Put him in a green onesie? Like a like a stretchy like green man suit <laughs> all right can we all just agree real quick can we all just just agree that jim carrey was wasted as the riddler especially that stupid cartoony riddler now i'm one of those people who is of the very firm opinion that Jim Carrey would have made a phenomenal Joker. Think about it. Think about it. Think about the way Jim Carrey is able to, like, to channel characters. Like, when he sets his mind to it, he can really get into a character. He's got the right body type like he's tall he's skinny he's kind of lanky like he's a master at making different faces and whatnot i truly believe that if he were given that role and they were like all right here's the kind of joker we want to do and not do the jack nicholson cartoony joker and give jim carrey the opportunity to do more of a modern joker the joker that's a little bit jo that, that's a little bit darker i think he would crush it i think jim carrey would make an incredible joker but i also think that time has passed so it is what it is he got to be a dumb version of the riddler but let's i digress on my little nerd tangent let's continue jim Carries Jim Carries. Come on, riddle me this, riddle me that, man's. <laughs> How's Ace Ventura gonna mess with Batman? How's Ace Ventura? Well played. Hey, Batman. Oh, oh no. Yeah. No. See, how are you supposed to block a batarang from going in your butt with a carefully crafted query? You cannot. That's how. It's impossible. Hey, hey. With a carefully crafted query. <laughs> hey, hey. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. All right. Michelle Pfeiffer. He's going around the door. Try to mess with the Batman. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Guess what, Michelle Pfeiffer? You ain't a real cat. Come on. I'll nope. tell you one thing. Ain't no way you gonna meow with the Batman. Oh. What about Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> What's Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, come on now. Schwarzenegger. Who? Schwarzenegger was. He played opposite. Uh, Clooney's Batman, right? Dude, Schwarzenegger could have snapped Clooney in half. I don't want to hear that noise. Although, he did play one of the corniest Batman villains. Iceman himself. Uh, bruh, Iceman. I can't even believe I did that. 
Mr. Freeze isn't even a bad character. I think he's actually one of the better Batman villains. But man, they gave him the corniest jokes. The corniest jokes. Trying to do. Oh, what is Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, huh? Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Oh, the burn. It should be in your oh, triceps. Oh, you know, come on, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can't turn up the AC and think that's gonna mess with the Batman. What are you supposed to be doing to the Batman? <laughs> Giving the Batman a cold? Come on, Batman. Giving the Batman a sniffle? Let's talk about bat lozenge. And you were defeated. Come on, come bat lozenge. You know, there is one person, though. Oh, no, 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 here it come now. Ooh. There is one person who could have right now. Mm-hmm. No, 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 There's no, no, one no, person. No, no, no. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Here it comes Mess right with the no, 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 oh, here it comes. He trained the Batman. <laughs> he get- Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. I have a particular set of skills. Gave the Batman his skills. He's a mirror image of the Batman in fighting prowess. I'm talking about Raz Al Ghul. That's right, y'all, right there. Talking about straight up Raz Al Ghul, played by the incomparable Liam Neeson. So even when we are talking about the Batman, <laughs> Liam Neeson is my shit. Oh man! Whoa! Why did they explode? What? I'm sorry, that ending caught me just right off guard. Why did they shatter into glass? What? What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. All right, guys. That was hilarious. That was wild. Someone please explain to me why they just shattered in the glass at the end because I don't even know what that was. Anyways, if you liked the video, please feel free, like, subscribe, always comment down below. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you want to see more. Let me know what you want to see more of, and we will get into it. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a great day.